feedback is a neutral information. It's not positive, it's not negative, it's just neutral. Pangit yung result. Huwag mo muna palitan yung action. Let's not talk about the action. How do we honor the observer first? Kitang-kita nila yung value simply because we, you felt it na ito yung kailangan, kaya ito yung ibinigay, and definitely maibuuwi nila yung isa grant. Thank you. A participant's got today is the fact that they were given tools and techniques to actually apply coaching. Behind the scenes, I'm going to show you. Um, behind me are actually a uh, staffing team, coaches, mentor coaches, who's been working with me for maybe months to prepare behind the scenes to support me so I can just deliver what I'm supposed to deliver. People will just be learning. This will be taking care of people who wants to learn how to coach, who wants to learn to be mentors, at the same time consultants. So these are volunteer coaches and mentors. So another key component for a seminar is to make sure that setup is great. So most important setup I have is this altar. I have fresh flowers. I have candles and of course we put in tissue just in case people need tissue. So this is part of what we do in all of our seminar. And of course, um, easel board, wherein we're gonna write all the learning um, TV. No? We have an LCD projector to project all the things that we're gonna learn with them. And of course, making sure that all the chairs are arranged world class, including our sound system. So people will enjoy the seminar because music is important when we do seminars. Key component is just like scuba diving, you never dive alone. You need people who you trust to support you. So most of the time I have people around me to support me. Okay, so this is Coach Max, my mentor. Um, he's gonna lead today's workshop. And of course, our head coach, uh, Mads, who's supporting me as well. So it's really just a collaboration and teamwork for people who want to serve, who want to help people grow and expand their leadership. How does that feel like kung ito yung kultura natin? Lahat magaling mag-affirm, lahat komportable magbigay ng totoong hugs. Lahat marunong magbiwit. Lahat marunong magbigay. Hindi lang in terms of, you know, material gift, but also in terms of how can I serve you? At higit sa lahat, lahat magaling sumuporta sa isa siya. How does that feel like as a culture? Buy yourself something that you truly love. Huwag mong ihuli yung sarili mo. But more than that, just be kind to you. Stop being perfectionist. Just being you. So, day one, first session, um, I, I felt it was so gratifying. It was so fulfilling simply because I can safely say that what they came here for was already fulfilled day one morning palang. And it's all about making sure that you give what people want, what they need. Because when you give them what they need, what they want, automatic, what you want, they'll give it without even you asking from them. That's leadership. Mung three lang, what was that? Are you on track, off track? What was that for you? Anyone? Coach, oh, for me, it was really um, a sense of response. And it felt like nabaw na sila in paglabas na apply na ita. Measure of the validity of the sense and response. I saw it kanina with the students. Invite pa lang yun, pero talagang sabi niya, grabe yung feedback. Uh, I can't wait to apply this to my team kasi sobrang valuable nito, blow by blow. So, kitang-kita nila yung value simply because we, you felt that uh, ito yung kailangan, kaya ito ibinigay, and definitely maibuuwi nila yung kasi. Thank you. Part of um, the program is we have one module, it's called Five Love Languages that was not supposed to be part of it. But again, as a leader, as a facilitator, as a coach, as a mentor, and as a consultant, it's necessary for you to sense and respond, which means I was able to sense that a lot of them were not comfortable in making sure that reaching out to people. And that's why we have to bring that back. And that's our response. And obviously, when we asked them what was the biggest turning, that was our, their biggest turning coming from what showed up today 
that we can sense and respond. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Tayo, kayo. Okay? What will happen here if I am the mentor coach? Claro? Ikaw coach ko si Ray, makinig kayo, paano mo sinabi, paano mo deliver. Later on, Apple will give Ray a feedback. He will give a feedback. He will give a feedback. He will give a feedback. You will all be involved in one person to hold this person accountable to know how they are doing. And then we move to Apple, we move to this. Are you with me? Are you excited to give feedback or you hate giving feedback? Most of the leaders and business owners, they hate giving feedback maybe because they're afraid to hurt the feelings of the people who they work with or maybe they're just selfish enough that people might hate them because they're honest. Why is that so? Because we were not trained how to give feedback. So today we're gonna show you professional, fun, exciting, but above all, empowering feedback and join us today learning about feedback. So ano nga ba ang feedback? Bakit kinakatakutan to? I want you to shift fear to excitement when you give feedback. Actually, feedback is a neutral information. It's not positive, it's not negative, it's just neutral. Why? It's an information as a gift that you give to the person because the whole truth about feedback, it may be true about you who's receiving the feedback or may be false about you receiving the feedback that the whole truth here is the feedback giver is honest, it's true about them. So which means it's an opinion, it's a judgment of the feedback giver that maybe a feedback receiver will just see how he or she can use this feedback. What are the steps of empowering feedback? Number one, always ask permission. Are you open for feedback? When the person says yes, the second step here is ask the person. Feedback yourself. Self-feedback ang tawag natin dyan based on what he or she did well in the task or in the situation that was given and what the person thinks could have done better or maybe next level or maybe expand him or self. So it's really that balance. The moment this person expresses self-feedback, make sure that you listen, focus, and be with the person because number three, I want you to respond to his or her feedback. And most probably, the feedback that you want to respond with is great notice. Yeah, I agree with you in this aspect. And of course, great notice that you knew that you know in this aspect, this is something you want to work on. This is something you want to improve on. And of course, when you give your valuable feedback, number four, make sure you use the STAR, which means first, identify the situation or the task and then you also identify the action most important part here is what result it created because this is the action that the person did and basically also share how did you feel when that happened and very important part also is expressing how you feel about that step check in with the person who's receiving the feedback what are you learning about yourself how do you feel about this feedback and making sure it's a forward moving momentum and last but not the least honor the person make sure that this person 
person comes into you with better, higher self-esteem because this person is open to feedback because this person wants to grow and expand himself through your feedback as a leader. Yung tao, tingnan mo. Paano siya nagtitiit ng action at nagkikreate ng result? This is where coaching happens. And so, pangit yung result. Huwag mo po napalitan yung action. Let's not talk about the action. How do we honor the observer first? So that they're open to feedback. And so the coaching therefore there is what? How do you maintain it? Relationship. I can now talk to this person and say, O oh, sige, let's talk about what happened. But before that, how are you? Kamusta ka? What about you generated this action? Because if you can do that, then people will now think about not so much about the action, but the way of being. Ontological coaching is the science of being. Meaning, ang kino-coach mo hindi yung action, but the person or the, what we call the observer. What happened with my session was we started introducing coaching tools, especially ontological coaching, and how it will be applied in their own personal and more so professional life. No? Ang ganda lang nang nangyari kasi people are already sharing their own experiences and real life challenges without even naming names but they were finding the value on how to imply, apply the two essence of coaching which is about creating awareness and making people take responsibility. I think that's the biggest value of coaching to be able to generate such an awareness so that people will take action for their results in their life. So what we just did is we talked about the coaching framework known as Joe Harry Window, which is really useful for everyone here, especially our leaders and our CEOs, simply because they are dealing with so many people. And one of the goals that they have is to really make sure that they have a deep connection with these people that they're actually working with. And the importance of allowing themselves to be open, to disclose themselves, so that eventually the people that uh, who are working with them would also feel safe that they are the ones who are working with them. We are now closing the day one of Deep Dive 2 and it has been a very fruitful day for us today. Ano bang highlight ng experience natin in this first day of Deep Dive 2? What a participants got today is the fact that they were given tools and techniques to actually apply coaching. How do you become a life coach for that matter? Because life coaching is not just a title, but it is a responsibility for you to always be with. So dito tinuruan namin sila tonight about ano ba yung essence ng coaching, which is only two parts, to be able to create awareness and to encourage people to take responsibility with whatever they are holding and experiencing right now. We also give them tools that will allow them to expand their capacity to grow and be able to coach their team. Giving them frameworks such as Be Do Have and the Johari framework that will now allow them to be equipped with the necessary tools knowing that they now can apply it in their own personal and professional life but extend that to their teams as well. We're very excited for day one. Tomorrow will be another day of more exciting learning, skills and structure for creating results in life.